Welcome to Finances Do Matter. My name is Richard and today we're going to take a look at what Warren Buffett is doing with his money. Why? Well, if he's doing a particular thing, should we as much smaller investors do similarly? Let's take a look. I recall when growing up and interested in business and investments that I took not at so much advice, but shall we say education, A, from my local library, because this predates the internet. Secondly, the books that I purchased or my family purchased for me. And third, a little known company called Nightingale Conant that produced cassette tapes. Do you remember those things you put into a recorder and play? I still have them. And the cassette tapes were primarily people, coaches and gurus giving you advice as to what to do or not what to do in certain circumstances. So you had programs such as the psychology of winning and a whole range of topics by then well-known contributors and, as I say, gurus and coaches. Why am I mentioning this? Well, simply because if you want to become a world-class athlete, you get a coach to train you. Of course, you undertake a lot of work yourself, but the coach is essential. If you want to become a world master at chess, you get a tutor or a coach. If you want to play a musical instrument, you get a tutor or coach. Anything you want to learn, you get a tutor or coach. Now, in the world of investment, there are a multitude of people out there apparently giving you advice as to what you should or should not do. And we always say on this channel, we don't give investment advice. But before you make any investment decision, by all means, go to an independent financial advisor. We call them different things around the world. We call them IFAs in the UK. Internationally, we call them wealth managers. I think in America, you have similar titles and CPAs, etc. All these people giving you financial and in some cases, investment advice. What I tend to do, because I've been trained in this area, is not just rely on the education and teachings that I've had to date, but to look at those who are already successful in the world of investment and analyze what they are doing and why they are doing it at that particular moment in time. Unless you've been living under a rock, perhaps the best known investor in the entire world is Berkshire Hathaway's Warren Buffett. And I quite frequently take a look to see what he is doing. Now, yes, before you say anything, he has multiple billions of dollars to invest, whereas our own investment monies are incredibly modest, certainly by comparison. But if he's doing something with his multi-billions, there is more often than not good reason that he is doing so. And what I propose is for us to take a look as to what he is actually doing at the moment, or at least reported by Bloomberg as to what he's doing. Now, I'm not saying he always gets it right, because he doesn't. But his performance over the last 40 or 50 years has shown that he gets it more right than wrong. Let's see what he's up to. Buffett's cash hits record $157 billion amid scarce deals. Firms post jump in operating earnings, aided by insurance, and conglomerate also repurchased $1.1 billion worth of shares. Now, this was published on the 4th of November by Max Reyes. Berkshire Hathaway's cash pile scaled a fresh record at $157.2 billion bolstered both by elevated interest rates and a dearth of meaningful deals where billionaire investor Warren Buffett could put his money to work. The hoard, which Berkshire has largely parked in short-term treasuries, note that, short-term treasuries, surpassed the previous high set two years ago. 
The conglomerate also reported operating earnings of $10.76 billion, a jump on the prior year, as it benefited from the impact of elevated interest rates on the cash pile and gains at its insurance businesses. Despite ramping up Berkshire's acquisition machine in recent years, the company has still struggled to find many of the big-ticket deals that galvanised Buffett's renown, leaving him with more cash than he and his investing deputies could quickly deploy. After hanging back during the pandemic, he's since snapped up shares in Occidental Petroleum Corp and struck a $11.6 billion deal to buy Allegheny Corp. Buffett has also leaned heavily on share repurchases amid the dearth of appealing alternatives, saying the, be- the measures benefit shareholders. Berkshire posted stronger operating earnings despite Buffett cautioning at its annual meeting in Omaha in May that earnings at the majority of its operating units could fall this year as an incredible period for the US economy draws to the end. Still, the Federal Reserve's aggressive pace of rate hikes has helped the firm reap greater yield on the cash it stockpiles primarily in short-dated U.S. Treasuries. The effects of significant increases in home mortgage interest rates in the U.S. over the past year has slowed demand for our home building businesses and our other building product businesses, Berkshire said in a report detailing results. We continue to anticipate certain of our businesses will experience weakening demand and declines in revenues and earnings into 20. So, even Warren Buffett is struggling to find good deals. Now, of course, it's much harder, ironically, when you have multiple billions of dollars to invest to get the sort of deals that perhaps you and I, with a more modest sum, would find attractive. For sure, that happens. Equally, though, the very fact that he has placed his money in treasuries and has warned against, really, the property and construction industries profitability over the course of the next 12 months does at least give us a guide as to where perhaps we should in terms of treasuries and shouldn't in terms of building companies be investing right now there's an old saying in the stock market never catch a falling knife and if you see a company or an industry or a stock market falling dramatically the temptation is to invest in it immediately. You're better off waiting till the knife has landed and is gradually being picked back up again before you plough your money in. So it's an interesting time. Yes, we're not being told exactly where to invest, but for sure we can see where Warren Buffett's heart and mind is at the moment. Look out for particularly good deals. Don't be desperate to invest your cash now. If you can gain an interest rate that at least is covering inflation, then your financial position is at least not worsening. What do you think? Do share your thoughts. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell sign, and we'll see you in our next video.